Hey there everybody, I'm gonna do a little work on the bicycle here. I'm actually swapping out handlebars on the polyvalent and I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about handlebars in general, a little bit about the anatomy of a handlebar and handlebars I've known and loved. So handlebars can actually affect how a bike fits. Uh, on this polyvalent, it's got top tube length of a, a bike I usually ride and the stem length is about right. But because the ramps on the handlebar are longer than I typically ride, I feel more stretched out. And that is why I'm going through this rabbit hole of finding new handlebars for this bike. So I'm gonna swap these out with the new uh, Nouveau Rainier Handlebar by Vela Orange and, and talk a little bit about why these bars, but also uh, just bars in general. So if you don't know your handlebar anatomy, uh, we'll start from, from the beginning. Uh, this is facing you. This is where, this is the clamping area where you put the stem. And these come in various diameters. This one is 31.8, kind of the modern standard. Um, on older quill stems, the size varies. This is a 26, so a lot narrower than here. And for me to actually get this handlebar to work on this bike, I'm gonna have to swap out the quill stem for this guy, which is uh, pretty interesting. It's got the quill part of the quill stem, but we'll take uh, modern stems. So this whole thing will have to go and I will put this handlebar on here. So there's the clamping area. There is the tops, which is uh, the top of the handlebar clearly. And you can do interesting things with the tops. You can have them straight across. Uh, in this case, these are kind of swept back, but I don't know if you can see, uh, they're also ovalized. So they give you a nice like flat surface to rest your hand on. So this part of the handlebar is called the ramp. On different handlebars, the ramp has different lengths. So that's sometimes why you can have a bike with the same uh, exact stem length, same exact effective top tube, same shifters, but different handlebar. And all of a sudden the bike will feel longer or shorter than you're used to. So compared to these bars that are on here, these are the uh, classic Rainier bars that VO sells. Uh, these are significantly shorter, bringing in the overall reach of, of, of the hoods. Other parts of the handlebar is uh, the hooks. Some have more of a just kind of classic curve bend. Some can be ergonomic. This one uh, is a little bit angular, but still kind of curved. And this drop distance can change. Uh, it can be really shallow. I would consider this uh, a fairly shallow drop, or it could be really deep. Um, you know, think the handlebars on the track bike where you really wanna tuck down in there for, for absolute aerodynamics. For me, I actually prefer a shallower drop bar because I feel like when the drop is too deep, uh, I don't end up using the drop part at all because it hurts my back. I'm just not that flexible. So by having a, a shallower drop, I actually end up using more of the uh, handlebar position. So this is the the handlebar I'm going to try on this bike. One other part is the flare and that is uh, how much this lower part of the drop bar uh, points out to the side. Sometimes they'll, they'll be pointing straight back, other times they'll uh, flare out. And typically the thinking is the more flare there is, the more stable it is off-road. And I kind of subscribe to that, maybe. So these are the handlebars I'm gonna be swapping out with the new quill stem adapter on this bike. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna share with you guys uh, different handlebars I, I've, I've tried and I've liked in the past. So one thing I've really disliked about handlebars and handlebar sizing is that for me, they tend to be narrow. I ride smaller frames, usually in the 52 centimeter uh, area and those smaller bikes tend to get smaller handlebars which i know makes sense you know you want to scale it down proportionate to the bike but i really prefer wider handlebars i'm generally just broad for my height but also when you think about uh just handlebar sizing on road bikes road race bikes specifically they're really trying to put the narrowest handlebar on there with the assumption that you're going to be competing for a field sprint. So it's got to be narrow so you don't get tangled. But if you're not racing, then you don't really have to follow those confines of, I got to stick the narrow narrowest handlebar that is comfortable on this bike. So if you're not racing, I would say explore a larger handlebar. Uh, for me personally, I like bars in the 46 to even 48 uh, centimeter width. And I prefer those because uh, one, there's more room for uh, a handlebar bag, for a handlebar roll. 
but also I feel like when you stand and you climb, it just gives you so much more stable leverage to, to move the bike beneath you. So free yourself from the narrow handlebar. Okay, so this is uh, my Salsa Warbird and this is a handlebar which uh, I tried a couple years ago, absolutely loved and you know how it is, you love, you find the component you love and then you put it on all your bikes. So this is the uh, Salsa Cowbell, which is still one of my favorite bars. I've kind of uh, migrated a little bit away from this. But I'll tell you what I like about it. It's it's fairly wide. Again, I think this is maybe like a 46 in width. You can't tell. It's got a short ramp. So again, I always have problems with reach on my bike. So I tend to like bars with a short ramp. Uh, it's got a fairly shallow drop. And also the bar itself is flared out. And uh, I like this bar because I'm riding mostly here. This is my primary position. The drop isn't so deep that this becomes unusable for me. I'm actually uh, in the drops a fair amount when I'm descending or in rough roads. It just gives you a lot more leverage on the brake levers and keeps your hand from slipping off. So interestingly, uh, these new bars by Velo Orange are actually, I would say they're, they're, kind of, they're, pretty, they're pretty similar, they're, which will be kind of cool to see. I feel like the, the ramp is similar, the drop is similar, the hooks, uh, this one has a little bit more of an angled hook. Cool, I mean, I think the biggest difference is, um, again, this top shape, this is a swept back, so it brings in the reach a little bit when you're climbing, and also there's a, a nice flat portion to kind of rest your, your hands on. Now we're gonna talk on the kind of far extreme. This is a, a dirt drop style handlebar. This is the Salsa Wood Chipper. Pretty radical bar in terms of uh, its design. Again, if you, I don't know if you can see here, but it's got a, a super short, super short ramp area. Uh, the angle of the drops drops down a lot. I think you might actually have to tip this over this way. And the crazy thing is uh, just the amount of flare. This thing like really flares out. Also on the uh, also on the ramps. Uh, where you position your handlebar levers. These are kind of angled in. And uh, this is popular for some folks. Um, these are, I haven't put these on the bike yet because I don't quite have a bike that these will work for. And what I mean by that is um, on a handlebar like this, my primary position is on top of the hoods. But on a handlebar like this, uh, it kind of wants your primary position to be here in the drops. So you really need uh, a, a bike with a lot of stack or a really long stem that's pointed upwards to raise this up so that this becomes your primary position. It's a favorite for some. Uh, I know some people that have tried this don't like it because again, you know, you, your bike has to have the geometry so you can make this your primary position because when you're on the tops, on the hoods here, it's angled in and it puts your uh, wrists in a funny position. So if that is uh, one end of the extreme and this is kind of uh, the other end. This one is in the middle. This is the Salsa Cow Chipper. It's what we currently have on our cutthroats. And I actually really like these bars. I thought uh, I would never move away from the uh, Cow Bell, but after having tried the Cow Chipper, it kind of splits the difference between this and the Wood Chipper. So again, it's got uh, very similar elements to what, what I personally prefer in a handlebar, uh, which is a short ramp. This one actually has a really short ramp. A uh, shallow drop and a good amount of flare. It's got uh, more flare than the uh, cowbell, but way less flare than the wood chipper. And what I think makes this handlebar more rideable uh, for me than the wood chipper is uh, when you put the when you put your your brifters on here, the hoods would, would still be facing generally straight, and your wrists aren't angled in like they are on the wood chipper. So again, this is the cow chipper. Uh, if you tried the cowbell, want something with a little bit more flair, but don't want to go full on wood chipper, then the cow chipper is actually a happy medium. Uh, totally recommend this handlebar. If you've tried drop bar bikes, but uh, feel like you don't get along with them, I'd say maybe, you know, take a second look, um, experiment with the handlebars, try something wider than you think you would like, something with a shorter ramp, something with a shallower drop, and you might find that 
you know, drop bars aren't so bad. I think the big challenge is, is finding a bike shop that's not so focused on racing because, uh, you know, their default mode is going to be trying to put you on the most narrow bars with the deepest drops and, you know, slamming that stem. So you might have to try to find a friend uh, that doesn't subscribe to all that but is familiar with uh, bike stuff in general or just find a bike shop that, you know, is more commuter focused, more touring focused and less racing focused. For me personally, I just can't ride in flat bars for very long because of the position it puts my wrists in. It aggravates my carpal tunnel from you know all the hours of video editing. So really I need uh, a, hand, a neutral hand position where my hands are kind of um, just perpendicular. I don't know, is, uh, is this way on my body <laughs> instead of this way all the time. One more quick note, if you want to really nerd out on bicycle handlebars and in particular how they relate to each other, you should check out this uh, website called What Bars. Uh, they're mapping out all sorts of different handlebars. You can kind of superimpose them and uh, see if you like a particular bar, how other handlebars stack up to them in different silhouettes. So check them out at whatbars.com. What are your favorite handlebars? Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried any of these bars I've spoken about? And if you like this video, consider supporting the channel you know, we're not all about the watts here or all about the racing. We're about having fun on bikes, making bikes comfortable, making bikes work for you. So check out those links, support the PayPal, the Patreon, or buy a supple t-shirt. And until next time, keep the supple side down.